Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Castlevania Lords of Shadow. I have a uh, spookier purple light. As well as my eye makeup on. Um, I did the puzzle off screen because it was kind of painful and I mostly just wanted to get through it. This LP isn't really about, you know, crazy puzzles. Yep, get that out of here. Um, so, to catch people up who are just watching now, and why would you? This is Gabriel Belmont. Um, and in this insightful Castlevania reboot, uh, God, like Jehovah, like the Judeo-Islamic Christian God, has just, like, you know, been cut off. They blocked him on Twitter. Some crazy evil spell was just like, you know what, no more God. None of that. Uh, so this is a problem for people who fight Draculas and uh, Bella Lugosi's. Edgy, silly. What does this mean? Yeah, Draculas me. and Frankenstein's. You know, that you have passed the test. clerics and paladins You'll not having access to their gods the is the not good. You know. Um. So, Gabriel Belmont, our boy here, has been seeking the aid of old gods. And here we're speaking sure to an ancient pagan forest god, you know? One never knows when need may arise. I just washed my hair, so it's very, very difficult, difficult to control. You know how it is. Oh, I should make some bread. Back to being mysteriously evil. Cut. Cut the scene, Jesus. Okay, cool. We got anything? Nah, whatever. Um, so last episode I talked the about why there was a... Oh, let me turn it up. I see the doubt in his eyes as he heads towards the lake. So Pan is helping him now. That's good. Perhaps it bodes well. I wonder if he knows what awaits him here, in this place where the dead can contact the living. It is cold now. A chill wind blows through his heart. I can see it. Feel it. He will need help if he is to succeed. He must not fail. He will not fail. Not now. Not yet. Not if I have anything to do with it. All right. Now silence, Patrick Stewart. Pan. You know Pan. There's so much room on this page here. And, like, I know that they want to show that this cool art, but... Look, you know Pan. We can read about Gabriel. As an infant, he was abandoned at the door of the Brotherhood of Light Cov Convents. It's not known who his parents were. Some suspect he's an unwanted bastard of a local wealthy guy. Likely from the Kronvist, Kron Kronvist family. Um, there's an important character in Lament of Innocence named Matthias Kronvist, spelled the same way. I still don't know how to pronounce it because I've not actually played that game long enough to hear his last name spoken. Um, and if you know what Matthias does in that game, he's, you know, kind of important, then hold that. But look at how good this fucking art is. God damn. The Order named the boy after the blessed Archangel Gabriel and raised him as one of its own. Um, something in the original Castlevanias that I kind of thought was funny was that they very rarely actually had a lot of actual Christianity. Like, yes, there's a devil. Yes, there's demons. Very few references to an actual god, you know? Devil May Cry is the same way. And in this, it's not that there isn't a god or that they just don't mention him. It's that they can't talk to him. They can't pray. Like, magic and miracles are real, but right now we can't get at them, which is pretty funny. Precocious child, he proved to be talented, developing an unprecedented mastery of the fighting arts. He took the surname Belmont for his love of the mountains and the high places of the world. Belmont naturally just means beautiful mountain. 
prone to dark moods and uh, occasional ambivalence. Damn, that ought to be my fucking autobiography title. He was affected by the death of his childhood sweetheart, Marie. He embarked on the quest at the request. He embarked on this quest at the request of the elders of the Brotherhood and has a burning desire for revenge. Marie, youngest da daughter of a rich merchant family, attracted to the courageous nature of the Brotherhood of the Light. And luckily, they didn't have any rules against stupin. Um, she often escaped her duties at home to help the monks baking and cleaning for them. She became a the boy that would later become her husband, an orphan by the name of Gabriel. They made for each other. They grew up together and made promises for the future. His promises were kept when, one idyllic morning, with the blessing of her family and the brotherhood, the couple was married. Uh, Marie's a good counterpart to Gabriel's moods, and often her laughter was just enough to blow away the gathering storm within him. Marie's been murdered, and Gabriel seeks revenge. Get her in the fridge. Get her out of here. Lycanthrope. An infectious disease known as werewolf influenza. That's funny. Uh, in many cases, it's transmitted by the bite of a lycanthrope. If you're bitten by a lichen, better to let it gnaw. Like most proverbs, it is probably true. It's a werewolf. You know what the deal is. This, I like this a lot, actually. I like the fact, because, like, we had a very dark black and blue level, and then we mixed up to a very green and tan swamp level, and now we have a nice ice level. So, um, I already talked about why they rebooted Castlevania in a lore and story sense. Um, and granted, rebooting it wasn't a, a fix-all problem. For example, they did still want to make money off of the classic Castlevanias and did occasionally release games in those canons. And so everything that is released in this universe has to be called Castlevania, colon, Lords of Shadow, something else, you know? So Castlevania, Lords of Shadow, Castlevania, Lords of Shadow 2, Castlevania, colon, Lords of Shadow, Castlevania colon mirror of fate like it's a bit annoying you know it's like how everything Star Wars needs to have the additional colon of whatever it is because the only thing that gets to be just Star Wars is the movies so you have Star Wars colon Knights of the Old Republic colon to the Sith Lords or two colon the Sith Lords or Star Wars colon Dark Forces colon Dark Jedi colon Jedi Academy colon Dark Forces. You should look up what those games are actually titled at some point. It's a very funny thing. So, um, Castlevania was treated as just like a an idea, you know, like a like a concept. Like, oh, you can put this on anything. Like, if you had Star Trek, you could just make a Star Trek anything. Like, you would have a shooter. You could have a... Uh, you can have a, a, a management sim. You can have an XCOM. All within Star Trek, you know? And they were like, look, Castlevania is about fighting dudes with a whip. So as long as we stay within that, we're good, right? Theoretically, they could be correct. But one thing that they started to do... One thing that's very obvious about this... Wow, big damage. is that this is a very derivative game. It's a high-difficulty, giant-sized ice titan buried deep below the surface of an ancient lake waiting to be found are the remnants of a once great European civilization, among them a titan of war. Before Rome and Greece, this great empire possessed technology that surpassed all others, and this titan marks the pinnacle of their achievements. The great conflict known as the Necromantic War obliterated this once thriving civilization, and this great feat of engineering was lost. When the dark spell that isolated the heavens from our earthly plane was cast, souls of the dead were drawn to this place and gave new energy to the magic runes, we made the titan one last time. That's a cool concept. That's a really cool idea. What do I do here? What's the... So, already, I've talked about how this game is just God of War. And, like... Hey, it's God of War, whatever, you know? A lot of games ripped off God of War. Um, and we've also seen stuff like the excitable climbing is very Uncharted. And a lot of games also ripped off Uncharted. This is one that's a little more interesting. 
because you can see that this is very, very obviously a Colossus, like from Shadow of the Colossus. But you know what? Shadow of the Colossus is short and it's over quick and like, fuck, it's a really good game. So whatever. I'm not even mad that they ripped off Shadow of the Colossus. It's a very obvious and boilerplate ripoff. Like, look at what we're doing here. But the thing is, because of the environment of Shadow of the Colossus, you don't get a lot of things. Also, I really like the, uh, the staking here. That's something I haven't talked about yet, but I'll get to it. But like, yeah, there's a lot of things in this game, and, like, it very much just rips from a lot of its predecessors, but, like, it does so in a lot of interesting ways, you know? Whoops. That's supposed to happen. Um... Oh man, I have to do the whole thing. Okay, that's not so bad. Well now, come now. Cool, word. So, like, we've already seen that, like, there's a lot of God of War. Like, the combat system is pure God of War. And then there's also a grab system and a, um... A, like, grappling system. That was stupid. There's a grab system and a grappling system very much like, uh... Okay. There's a grab system and a grappling system very much like Devil May Cry 4, later used in the Devil May Cry reboot. Oh, cool. That's pretty painless. Come on, put your fist in the ice for me. Gonna wear it down. Um, and then, like, it has the cinematic climbing stuff a la in Uncharted. And then we get Shadow of the Colossus. Like, it's it's a Frankenstein of games, ironically. Like, you have... Like, it's a Castlevania game, but it has a lot of concepts that are not, like, unique to classic Castlevania. It's its own thing. Um, but it's an interesting and, honestly, kind of admirable, admirable reboot, you know? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shit on it for trying to reboot Castlevania. I don't, I still don't even think Castlevania needed a reboot. I think you could have done this story without rebooting Castlevania. But whatever, you know? We're here, this is what we're getting, you know. But like, this this game is just a Frankenstein of God of War and Devil May Cry 4 and... Shit, that was stupid. God of War and Devil May Cry 4 and, and Uncharted and Shadow of the Colossus and like, those are all good games and they're not even represented very poorly here. Can we start from, oh man. One moment, everyone. All right. Amazing how much I can get done when I shut up. Yeah, now I'm here. Um, I do really actually like the idea of like, I mean, obviously Greece was not the first, like, great civilization. Damn. Um... But I like the idea that, like, not only were they not the first great, but there was an even crazier one, and they built this shit. Like, that's cool. 
I think perhaps it could get a little problematic. Wait, what? Oh, okay, that's fine. Dude, that's not cool. Man. Like, oh yeah, white people actually were the real people who were supposed to rule the world, and then a bunch of Greek people ruined it. Like, I don't know. You know? But, you know, ancient aliens, uh, uh, lost technology, and a lot of stuff like that are really cool ideas that I don't think it used enough. Um, and like, the things that could actually be really interesting, you know? Yep. Oh, that's what we're doing, huh? I might cut away a little more. Just FYI. Like, this is a cool battle and all, but like... Ugh. It's really, really, like, sluggish. Oh, it tried to crush Gabriel under its massive fists. Oh, Oblivion Lake. Damn. One moment, everyone. Hey, we're back. I identified my problem. You can just quick jump while you're on this thing. I didn't notice. But, like, it makes sense, because it's a flat surface. But yeah, like, they want to have their cool, like, big... Oop. They want to have their cool, big, like, Shadow of the Classes moment, but, like, this game having checkpoints and, like, the way that it has those just doesn't kind of support it, you know? Should I have done something there? Oh shit, it's the chin, huh? Just jump to avoid this. Pretty clean. Um, so let's talk about Gabriel. Um, Gabriel is, like this game backing up and being a prequel means that Gabriel kind of is meant to be like Leon, who is the first Belmont. He only appeared in Lament of Innocence and I believe he's also a part of the Attack Greatest Five, which has you summon, you know, the five coolest Belmonts, which is the five most well-known Belmonts. Um, okay, and then what? Ah, yeah, the chin. Of course. I love a big, easy weak point on the back, honestly, you know? It works for me in a lot of ways. Shit. Should have seen that one coming. I mean, God, it's a... It's a dude the size of a, uh... Something really big. You know, something really big. But anyway, um... So he's kind of meant to be a, um... like Leon Belmont because he's a prequel Belmont. They're backing up and showing like Crusades era Castlevania stuff. Which is, I believe, something that uh, I think Leon's in the Crusades. Yeah. That's a really good shot. I actually like that a lot. It's a very exciting shot. The camera tracks it very well. Um, in the way that he's kind of meant to be like a, uh, cool, simple as, in the way that he's meant to be like a default Belmont who shows up in the first game, he's arguably like Simon, um, Simon is known for being like very, very like basic in how he fights, uh, and, like, Richter is, like, a mage. I don't really know if he gets into that. Uh, certain elements make him, like, certain other main characters, but... Oh, do I need to... 
Okay, I know that I need to whip that. I seize it. Okay, you just gotta time it. And in the God of War style, we have to get on him and wreck the level, you know? Now, we must fuck him in the ear canal. Like, imagine a mosquito with an ancient holy sword that kills humans, you know? I mean, God, that's just a cat. That's the Shadow of the Colossus joke. Shameless, but. That should have killed him. But I guess Belmonts are made of Cerner stuff. And possibly Corn. Corn. Conquests? I don't know how that name is meant to be pronounced. I'll crank this up for the same reasons I did earlier. Give me your dagger! Quickly! Quickly, boy! Hey, Patrick Stewart gets to be a cool guy. Not just the narrator. I do like how his, um, like, armor and uniform is, like, distinct from uh, Gabriel Belmont, but... It also is clearly, like, they're clearly working for the same guys, same order and all. Um, so where to see Patrick Stewart with hair? Marie! Oh, my awful Skyrim ghost wife. Forgive me. I was not there to save you. There is nothing to forgive, my love. I am so happy to look upon your face again. Yes. And I use a lot of eyeliner for the year that my this love, is. The elders of the Order hope that you can help us to understand what is happening. The world has been isolated from the heavens. Some believe that God has abandoned us. Can it be true? I feel that that the spirits are trying to talk to me. They whisper things to me. It is hard to understand them all. It, it is so dark, so many people crying. I cannot find them in the blackness. I'm scared. There is something else. A shadow is on my mind. A Lord of Shadow? You must help us, Gabriel. What are they telling you? Who are they? They are the spirits who founded your order and that the power of the Lords of Shadow is the key. They talk of a prophecy. I don't understand what they mean. I can feel myself fading. I can hardly see you. Darkness is closing oh. around me. Marie. I love you, Gabriel. Don't go, Marie. I love you too. So, less bad of fridging, because she does get to do cool stuff, even though she's dead, but like, eh, you know? Kill a guy's wife for the character development. For the drama. Why are you here? Who sent you? I am Zobek, a warrior of your brotherhood. Pan and I are old acquaintances. He felt you would be in need of my assistance. I have heard of you. I am sorry. My name is Belmont. I smoke with generic you rage. Are. Was that the spirit of someone you know? You don't. <laughs> Maybe he yes. respectfully kept his distance. It was my wife. Forgive me. I couldn't help but overhear what she told you. It sounds like the spirits who founded our order 
are trying to tell us something very important through her. What do you mean? Only that the founders of the Order seem to be using the dead to communicate with us. The prophecy has been secret for many centuries. It is known only to a select few. There is no way she could have known when of it unless... When the narrator is, like, standing here in Jolly, they yeah, it feels... to tell her somehow. Praise be to God. What prophecy? It is written that a pure-hearted warrior will claim the power of the Lords of Shadow as his own and use it in order to overcome all evil. It is said this warrior would become God's vassal on Earth, supremely powerful. He could do anything. The Founding Spirits have not abandoned us, Gabriel. Thanks to your Marie, we now know there is some hope. We have to enter the lands of the Dark Lords, you and I. We must reclaim the powers they hold and unite the heavens with this world once more. And don't you see, Gabriel? You can bring her back. If what you say is true, then we need to work quickly and in secret. The Lords of Shadow must not suspect we are on their trail, and they will turn all of their attention towards us. So we, we can't take, take the different eagles. routes, you and I. I will head for the land of the Lycans. You leave for the territory of the vampires and prepare the way. Then we must go on to the Lord of the Necromancers together. His realm lies furthest. Our enemy must suspect nothing. Take this. It will allow you to absorb spiritual energy and will help cure your wounds. Good luck, my friend. May we be granted victory. Thank you, brother. You have given me renewed hope. It looks more like Christopher Lee with a ponytail. Ah, oh, this one again. Bring up that generic Elder Scrolls style uh, uh, music. Theme of walking somewhere for a really long time. Alright, hey, that's chapter one. Um. So, yeah, like. The Ice Titan is generic, you know? But it's cool. Mm, God, the action, like the the skill animations in this are legitimately one of my favorite parts. Hold XXX, cool. And then we're down to 170. Radical. And we're on to chapter two. Out of, I literally just paused to count them. I think it's 14, unless there's one in the middle. The Enchanted Forest. We part ways, he and I. My instincts tell me he is filled with hope. A hope that will drive him ever onwards. Good. Perhaps he is the one. A warrior of pure heart who can deliver us from all evil. Perhaps. I wonder what went through his mind when he saw her there, his beloved. Did he see his dreams? Or did he see his future blown away like leaves on the wind? I spy him as he heads out towards the reaches of Pan's influence. A forest lies to the east that leads to the land of the Lycans. The ruin of an ancient civilization is there, forgotten and decaying. Once a proud testament to man's ingenuity and vision, it has now been conquered by nature, as she claims all things for her own. This is something that I haven't talked about very much yet, but I don't really like these. I mentioned it briefly, but... Like, I don't know if they just wanted to get more patty stew. Am I going this way? Okay. I don't know if they just wanted to get more patty stew, or what. Zobek. If the Chronicles are to be believed, Zobek's one of the... So Longest serving warriors. The list of deeds attributed to him is as impressive as his vast knowledge of the art of war. Despite his age, he can employ mighty skills. His weapon is a long sword, which he handles with great skill. Uh, he likes to wear the old fashioned uniform of the Brotherhood of Light. According to him, inherited from an ancestor, 
allegedly one of the founding members. Psalm Troll. Hey, they're stinky. Like, there's honestly a lot in this game that I think is pretty cool. Whoops. Damn. I just don't know this input. Pardon me, everyone. Okay, that's a lot less complicated than I was making it out to be. What do you say, dead guy? Comrade in arms ventured here while I rest a while. Ventured onwards while I rest a while. That's a great piece of art, by the way. I hope the life gem wasn't given in vain. Kind of silly that life gems are just like a thing. Go ahead and pause this if you want to read it. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, Castlevania, like, was birthed as a platformer, so you can see that they would want to platform a little. Shadow magic to activate it. Just say come back when your skills have improved, you know? You don't need to tell me that I'm going to get shadow magic. I don't even know what magic is yet. Okay, that was a little weird. I got invisible walled kind of hard there. All right, good. This combat is kind of the game's, like, I mean, it's the game's bread and butter. And it's kind of the game's strong suit for that reason. These are new, neutral elemental orbs. Absorb them thanks to the magic medallion Zobek gave you. And hey, we have light magic now. It'll heal us and burn through our ammo, our mana bar, you know? You don't get, this is also a pretty interesting mechanic. Like it's a kind of a modified version of Devil Trigger. Where, like, not only do you get, oops, like, not only do you get the, like, health regeneration uh, effects, but, like, you need to stay active in order to take access from it. All right. Thanks for not very much. It's almost like just fucking impolite that they give you a huge amount of, um, wait, why is that draining? Oh, is the overcharge temporary? That's cool. The camera is not working with me here. All right, eh, come up here. That's that's pretty good. I feel like those should just come to me automatically. You know, like, having a button input just to get the things that I should have by default. I don't know. Maybe it, it will add meaningful difficulty to encounters, but as is, I don't really know about it. You know, it's kind of meh. Also, letting you overfill it really... I feel like that actually makes you use it more, you know? Because you don't just want to sit on full because you can pop it when it's overfilled. Which is actually kind of interesting. This is a great looking area. A light magic gem.
I sure wonder what's going on back there. I'm just trying to get your grenades, guys. The sooner I get that, the happier we'll all be. Alright, fine. I'll just kill you old style. So maybe I've missed something up here. Oh, duh. You don't need to knock it over. You can just swing into it. Doi. Um, so yeah, Gabriel Belmont is kind of like a hybrid of a lot of Belmonts. He also has a, uh, I think a like slight Scottish accent that I don't think I've noticed a Belmont have before. I think most of them have just had like American accents or like, all right, yeah, that's what we want. Oh, of course, because I got that whip upgrade, I don't need to throw grenades at this. I've always thought of the whip as a very... Sorry, I bet I was saying something just earlier and I forgot it. Oh, yeah. Um, I like Gabriel's place in canon where he's like... To get a fresh start on the series, of course, we are still going to have a Belmont. But he's going to be like a hybrid of so many other Belmonts. And like... Uh, God's Punishing Our Sins. World's Trapped in Chaos. Damn Hand is Futile Quest. He and the elder should also be suffering for their sins. Oh, new skills. Light flash. With light magic active, hit the dodge button. Like, Gabriel strikes an interesting character because he's like a midpoint in between a lot of Belmonts. Like, now that we have magic, I can say it easy. Uh, combat focus. Ancient technique from the Weather to Light. When focused, you can extract elemental orbs after every successful hit. The focus meter fill, fills when you fight well. Use varied attack and avoid being hit. It's a style meter, and it gives you more stuff. Rich get richer. You know the deal. Like, something that I will say about Castlevania that I think really makes it work as, like, a hybrid game like this is that, like, having a game like this means, like, or having a whip in your hand, really. Maintain your focus, and you'll drop neutral elemental orbs after every hit. A few fresh ones of these, huh? Like, the whip can be used to, like, grab guys at a distance. Damn. Being hit breaks your focus. I know. I played a video game before. I know it doesn't look like it. But I'm a Let's Player. We're required by law to not be that good at video games. Damn, I didn't get the, uh... You should find a way to blow up this barrier. Oh, thanks. I love how there's just more and more shit on the screen. Hold on, there was... There we go. Thank you. A lot of those have just been two, interestingly enough. Wow, that's super rad. Like, that feels good. 
Like, I know that this game's bread and butter is using the whip for combat. You're playing a Castlevania game, for God's sakes, but, like, oh, it actually feels really good. Like, this game's definitely worth a buy. I don't think we're going to get more Castlevanias, so I think, like, voting with your money is not really going to work out here, but... Come up here, huh? Wow, I'm getting my ass whipped. One moment, guys. But yeah, like, the whip, like, Indiana Jones shows us that, like, the whip is a very versatile tool. Like, you can swing with it. It gives you more platform options. It gives you, like, a long-range hit. And this, like, version of the whip is really interesting. Castlevania is well known for its combat cross, of course. You know, it's a particularly strong sub-weapon initially that is thrown like a boomerang, um, as opposed to the kind of weak daggers, which throw and don't come back. But in this game, they've made the combat cross into its own thing, like into your main weapon, and the daggers are now... Wee the daggers are now... Um... That's cool. The daggers are now like they're almost like ebony and ivory. He is becoming or Atreus's arrows in God of War um, four. His prowess in battle is undeniable. Or their uses he to will need it now. Goblins are one thing, but there are other creatures in the dark places of the world. Creatures who know nothing of his plight, but fight for their very survival. Many fallen brothers are testament to this. Indeed, their bleached bones adorn the tortuous tunnels in this godforsaken place. He runs ever onward into peril. I wonder who the prey is, and who is the hunted. Mm. Perhaps when the time comes, these creatures will know fear as they look into the eye of their quarry. Go, my friend, save your love. I don't know if a uh, friend is... Maybe that's a little forward, Patrick Stewart. All right, just scraping the walls here. Don't want to miss nothing. But yeah, like, I really like this. Like, first and foremost, it's just a cross. Like, that's cool. It works. It's a vampire killing weapon. That makes sense. And we've used it to, like, properly stake dudes. Like, that looks cool. It feels good. It's awesome, you know? It's a simple reverse grip, like, dagger stab. Like, it works. I love it. Oh yeah. Big ol' spiders. Um, and then the fact that the... Like, the chain part of the whip is contained in there. Like, oh, it works really well. Like, it's conceptually cool. And I think they actually brought it back, in a sense. Because, um... I think Simon's whip, and by extension, Richter's whip, in Castlevania, looks like this. Um... Because obviously... Or in Smash Brothers. Um... Because obviously we haven't gotten a new Castlevania game proper in a couple of years. I'm noticing that the, uh... The, like, crowd-hitting attacks are actually also pretty useful for... Just hitting dudes you want to keep away from you. Because I kind of want to keep this thing at length. I don't know if I get a damage boost off of that, but it's pretty sweet otherwise. Alright, get off me. But yeah, like, we haven't gotten to Castlevania in a while, but because Simon and by extension Richter, as his echo, was added into the new Smash Brothers, we get a very interesting, like, weirdo moveset that befits a guy who fights with a whip. Yeah. Take that. Giant spider. Size, big. Medium difficulty. Large type of any arachnid. More aggressive than any normal-sized variety of spider. Giant spiders can be found in any environment, but they prefer dark, soggy places like old forest or grottos. Like their smaller counterparts, they weave webs of silk, used to trap their prey before eating them. It's strong and can be used to make rope of incredible quality. The giant spider population has shrunk in recent years due to mankind's encroachment on their natural habitat. Oh, how sad. Actually, that's a good place to leave it off. Um, 
because I have been going for about the length of time that I want to. The last episode actually went a little too long, but whatever. Um, but I've been out for this been Castlevania Lords of Shadow, and like I'm having a good time. And now we even know what the Lords of Shadow are, so we're doing pretty well. Um, I feel good because I've actually had a decent dearth of things to talk about, which is pretty sweet. Uh, but yeah, I hope you all have a good day. I had one. Bye, everyone.